Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today I'm doing things a little bit different because I had to film this and everyone was being so noisy that I've decided to do a voiceover. I don't like doing a voiceover because it doesn't match what you're seeing on the screen, but it is what it is and this is what we've got. So I've just shown you that I'll be using Tombow 229, I think it is. It's the really nice green one. And I always said that I wasn't going to um, like buy kits for this planner specifically because I didn't want to spend any more money. So I said I'd use like leftovers. I always have so many leftovers from like cousin kits and from the planner spot, like which I hardly ever use. So I've gone for like a green kind of theme this week. I did flip back to the previous week because I did want to try and do it a little bit different because I felt a bit... I said it last time, but I felt a bit squashed with the um, with the time blocking that I did last week. So I tried to just um, put down some main stickers. So I do like a, a decorative box. I like the this week sticker. Um, and yeah, I just tried to put down some functional items first and appointments and things like that. I did. I, I am going to do some lines as well uh, across to denote like. The, the main timings of the day so like the school run in the morning the school run in the afternoon meal time but I'm not going to block it off as much as I did in the previous week because I find the slots in the cousin they're like well they're half an hour aren't they and some things don't take half an hour like on um like in half an hour I can do quite a few things but if I write them all down in my cousin then you know I'm um, like I'm missing. There's not enough space for me, so I've just put that tracker down there. I decided to put last week's, last week's mental health tracker in this week, um, just to fill the space, which I don't think I'm going to do again. I think if it's going to be in there, it needs to be the the week that it is because it doesn't make sense. But I didn't have anything else to fill the space there. So and plus I'm putting meals down here as well, and meals they don't really need to be in this planner they they go in my um, mental health planner which is my weeks which you see me set up but I'm just so confused at the minute guys I'm so conflicted like I do understand why people do one book July because it forces you into one book and I could plan everything in one book I think quite easily I could do it in the cousin um but we like planners don't we and we like to plan like these are the lines I'm on about where um, I'm lining off. This is the morning, the morning school run. Um, yeah, I'm just in a bit of turmoil at the minute with my planning system. I mean, it's working great, but I just want change. I just want to do something different. So you know, so I've bought some <laughs> bought some planners. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure whether to wait for them all to come in and then show you all of them, or just to put them in halls and do setups. Like, because I know you love you love a setup. But I'm scared to do setup videos now because I'm not staying in planners. Like this functional cousin, I'm not using it functionally. Like I'm going to try my hardest this week on this one that I'm filming now to to do it functionally and come in every day. Because that was the point of it. It was to come in every day and be able to do a little me time planning, you know, not film it. So I said I'd film this like weekly setup, the beginning bit for you. But then it, the idea was to then um fill it in daily which like didn't happen last week very much so I'm, I'm hoping it'll happen this week but it's just such a waste isn't it when you buy a planner and i did it before guys i did it before i was using the cousin it was going great and then all of a sudden i stopped using it and um yeah it was it was yeah, and I don't, I don't know why. I just think there's so many different brands out there um, that why not try some more planners? And that's what I thought I'd do the end of this year is just try some of the planners that I've had my eye on. So I have blocked out that bottom bit again. I did it from the twenty three hundred hour, so eleven o'clock p.m. because I ain't doing nothing then apart from chilling and watching youtube or netflix or whatever and i'm going to do my usual like i've done uh, a to do a work work which i'm classing as i don't know why i didn't put the two to do's together but i did to do work to do errands to buy uh work i class as youtube work so i'm writing down monday through sunday and the videos that i plan 
to put up this week um i think by the time this goes up you'll have seen this week because of just the way the way that these videos are programmed in it's just this one always falls behind but it doesn't matter because you're still getting to see like a planning setup and then um you're getting me talking about it after but yeah so it's to do work to do errands to buy a little camper van that i put down in the end as well and then a box a corner box down the bottom and i just think that that's enough um decorative pieces that's what i do love about the plan spot kits is they do give you those work and to do but so do a lot of kits nowadays um yeah i'm <clears throat> excuse me sorry i'll have some of my iced coffee that i made this morning this is why i don't like doing voiceovers because it doesn't line up with what's going down on the paper but um i did put in the kitchen floor is due to be finished on the tuesday and then i'm going back to the monthly just to check and make sure i get all my appointments in there was only a couple of appointments this week and um, there was a couple of teacher strikes uh, which means Casey was off and yeah not really a lot to do apart from filming um, I have got like YouTube video ideas that I want to do but if you want me to do anything it can't be silhouette based because I know I get asked a lot to do silhouette um, how to use the silhouette and things like that but I've lost my power lead so i can't seem to find the power lead um right what am i doing now looking back on the month again i'm putting in another appointment so i've done the kitchen floors finished on tuesday uh, chris had a appointment a uh, like a not a pre-op but he had an appointment about his knee to find out whether he needed an operation or not on wednesday and then on friday we have uh i have a phone call from my like local mental health team um which is good all my um all of my um all of my all my student finance has been sorted um they're they're doing it they're paying for it which is absolutely amazing i'm so so grateful for that um what else have i got to tell you um a while ago i did a a question oh here it is so i asked you to to um ask me some questions so i think i'm just going to go in there and answer some questions um Please explain what degree you're getting. That's quite funny. Please explain what degree you're getting. How can you use it? Please and thank you. I have to tell you I found your channel after my second transplant surgery in the middle of COVID. I had no visitors at all. You make my days better in the hospital. I could visit you anytime. I was in for five months. Wow. I cannot express what comfort your videos gave me still. Do. I'm not on Instagram. Hugs and wishes. Oh, that was from Cindy Stacy eight four five five. Sorry, these are like <laughs> these questions are like nine months ago. Um, wow. I hope you're better. I hope you're recovering. Okay. My degree I'm getting is criminology and sociology. Um, you can use the criminology and sociology degree in like a multitude of ways, and I'm talking like a lot of ways. Uh, it can lead into anything to do with the criminal justice system. It can lead into social work. It can lead into criminal investigations. Um, I picked that degree because um, I haven't got any high school education. Um, I haven't got any... I've done quite a few, like, MVQs and things like that, but I've never done, you know, a specific qualification. And I wanted to prove to myself... That I'm clever enough and capable enough of doing a degree, uh, which I cannot believe I've passed the first two years of it already. Um, I, it's just mental. Uh, right. Um, Al Shamariza, sorry, 7667, sorry, Al Shamariza. I don't know how you pronounce that. How do you deal with anxiety and panic attacks that affect your day and night? Do you plan? Do you game? Distract yourself? I'm going through it lately with anxiety and panic attacks. Sometimes laying in bed just not help. So how do I um, how do I deal with that? So it depends if I'm in, out. Um, if I'm out and I have a panic attack, like a full-on panic attack, I have to go home. 
Um, if we're with the kids, I go back to the car and I just sit there. I've always got my PRM medication on me uh, and I take that and it calms me down. Um, there's nothing, if I'm in a full-blown uh, anxiety attack, I can't do anything. I can't plan, I can't game, I can't distract myself. Um, I literally just take medication and um, lie in my bed and ride ride the waves. But if it's just like general anxiety, then I'll try and fight through. Uh, I'll just carry on my normal stuff that I do daily because, you know, to me, that's the only way that I can cope and get through it. But like a massive attack, yeah, I can't do anything. I, I just have to ride it through. Uh, what do you think of the Traveller's Notebook? Also, which planner cover is your all-time favourite? Do you... Uh, do you use ring planners like Filofax? Right, so right at the beginning of my planning journey, I did use a, a Filofax. I used, that's the very first planner I owned. It was one of the rose gold uh, Filofaxes. And um, th that put me off planning, to be honest. I wasn't sure. I didn't really, I hadn't found like the planner universe on on YouTube or Instagram at that point. I was doing it solo. I'd seen a couple of videos, but when I first started planning, the Erin Condra and the Happy Planner, all that kind of planning was was massive. Not really like today with where it's book bound and Traveller's Notebooks. I think Traveller's Notebooks were around. Um, I didn't like the passport. I didn't like the passport size that I had. Um, it just it did, just didn't work for me. I am very, very interested, though, in getting the um, the regular because I have just bought a regular tee on from Paper Test Designs, if you watch my haul, um, as a weekly uh, book. My favourite planner covers, um, I don't know. You know, I've had Motum and I've had Gilio, and I'm not a planner cover snob, to be fair. And lately, I've just been putting clear covers on and leaving it as that because I like to see the book. I have recently bought the uh, Coeco Systematic um, cover. Again, there's a review for this, uh, for that on my channel. I really, really love this one. It's K-O-K-Y-U-O and it's an A5 Systematic cover and you can just fit loads in it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with that. I love, love, love that one. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really, um, I'm not really a, a cover snob. I do like Motum, I like Gilio, I love the plain covers. Um, yeah, I'm not really, I don't really follow up on the old uh, cover bandwagon. Uh, what made you start planning and how long have you been a planner? Okay, so this, this is, um, have I got enough time to answer this one? Have I? Basically, um, I was in a really, really depressed point in my life and I was really, really upset and Casey saw me upset and she asked me what's the matter and I said to her, you know, I don't do anything, I feel really low, I'm really sorry. And she said, Mum, you do loads. And she sat there and she literally told me everything I do in a day. She's like, you get out of bed, you do this, you do the washing, you make sure we've got food, you do the food shop, you do the cleaning, the tidying, like all that you do. And I'm like, wow, I do. And she goes, why don't you start writing everything down and then ticking it off so you can see every day. Like this is my little like 11 year old daughter at the time. I think she was 11, 10 or 11, because I've been planning for a long time now. And that's exactly what I did. And I dived into YouTube, massively dived into YouTube. I watched every single style of planning that you could watch. I bought all the planners. I couldn't get along with an Erin Condren or anything. Uh, but yeah, it was because of Casey that I started planning. And I've been a planner. Well, I had this channel now, I think, three years. I think I've had this channel. And I think that I did my... Um, yeah, my oldest video was three years ago. And it was... When was it? 16th of March 2020. And we are now in 2023. Uh, and I think I was planning... I think I was doing stuff for about a year before that. So four years I've probably been planning. And I've loved absolutely every minute of it. I, this has saved me, my mental health, everything. It has saved me a million and one percent. Um... Uh, I've, I've been through all the trends, all the, I've got a massive list of all the planners that I've had and I've not regretted one of them I, and I love it and if it wasn't for Casey saying that to me I would have, you know, 
I don't think it would have happened. So massive shout out to her. So I think I've filled in as much as I'm going to fill in on this spread. Where what am I putting there? Oh yeah, I'm just putting some icons down. So the top line is trying to take the school run. And then where I've just put those trainers down, that is the pickup. And then we've got meal. And then we've got the bottom, which I explained earlier. I've put my appointments in. So Chris's knee, my phone call. Um, there was a lot of indecisiveness in this plan with me because, and I still don't love it. I still don't love the way that it's turned out, to be honest. Um, but there's nothing I can do about that now. Have I got time for another quick question? Right, live plan with me. So I have been considering doing a live plan with me, but I am very aware that the majority of my subscribers are from America. So uh, me and Chris were talking about this yesterday, actually, and I don't want to have to, like, because a plan with me is you're planning with me. You want me to plan. You want to tell me what to do and stuff, which is great. But I can't be on a chat box and planning at the same time. So Mr. Mo, Mr. Whoops, I did it again, said that we can do it together. Like he'll read out the comments and reply like with me. And uh, you know what we're like together. We just bounce off each other. So that actually would be quite fun. So, yeah, let me know if you want um, a Mr. and Mrs. Whoops to do a live plan with me. And then what I'll do probably is... Uh, put out I'll have a look at the time zones and I'll put out a poll on like the best time for everyone to do it and if it means we have to get up at four o'clock in the morning then that's what we'll do because we love you we will definitely get up at four o'clock in the morning to do that I think it could be quite fun I think it could, could be quite fun um, I had another question about would I do memberships or lives or, or like patreon um no I don't think so I'm not I'm not sure um because I want to give everything to everyone. I don't want people to pay for a certain type of content and like not others. Um, I don't think I will do that. Maybe merch one day. Like someone said a comment about selling my quotes that I say on like a jumper or a mug or something. And I actually was like, wow, that'd be quite funny in America if you were walking around with whoops, I did it again. Um, I don't give a fuck t-shirts on then yeah that that would be quite funny but yeah i think i've put everything down on this uh, plan with me i'm just looking at my monthly to see if i've missed anything so the next time you hear my voice will be when i've completed the week and we can see how it went so here we are guys we're at the end of the week i left you with quite a blank spread and now it is filled in quite a bit right <coughs> excuse me problems with this I did mention it when I was doing the voiceover and setting it up. These little time things, they're half an hour. If you're trying to stick to time load, to timelines, I cannot fit in this space everything that I do. So I'm having to pick and choose what I put in here. This is leading me to think that I need a... I need to be able to do a, like... Do you know in the... Uh, come on, speak, Becky. You know in the... Uh, b -b 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 <laughs> um, it's not getting things done. It, the, the, geez, help me out. You know the bullet journal, man. The bullet journal book. Rapid login. Rapid. Rapid, Becky. Rapid login. Daily rapid login. Everything you do. Boom, 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 boom. Because, um, yeah, I don't see this as fun. I don't see this the same... As I see, I mean, they're going to look pretty darn similar. Let's go to a, a weekly plan with me. This is one I've just done. That's just gone up. I mean, wow, it looks amazing, doesn't it, for one. But this is more fun. This is like the week gone by and it's more fun. I thought I would be able to daily rapid log in this. And I can't. I can't. Unless I do a week where I literally don't put any stickers down and I rapid log. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to try and do. So next week, I think, what I'm going to try, because this is still, I took away the time block in here because I wanted more space. Didn't need the space because I didn't write in it. And maybe I should ignore the times. Maybe I should ignore the times and not put these lines in and just go from the top everything down try and put my appointments at the top 
and then just rapid log and these to do's errands to buys um they're nice to have but i don't sit with this planner open all day every day i sit with my uh, a6 open all day every day so yeah i need to have a think i need to have a think i really really want to make this work guys like i just don't want to have bought and set up like literally i've used all of my i mean i can take these out all of my gorgeous stuff like i stuck it down like i've used all of my gorgeous stuff for this plan with me <laughs> oh that's washed that's washed um i don't want to lose it i I don't want to not use it, but yeah, there we go. Right, dailies, let's go to dailies. I've wrote some personal there. I don't think, no, I haven't wrote anything apart from one thing there, uh, different from when I last, from when I last showed you. Uh, my dots haven't come in yet, which is fine. I'm just waiting for them to arrive so I can do. And also I think this is a bit big to use as a common planner as well. So not only is it failing as a functional planner, it's failing as a commonplace planner but i i don't know i just love it so much i don't want it to fail i really don't want it to fail and as well the, i think i'm not sure if i said it last week or not i'm really do you struggle with with like when i went to coffee months to co she'll start planning on a monday and she'll plan till wednesday like half a day wednesday and then she'll be like i don't know what i'm doing after that and then she'll come back wednesday and she'll plan till friday like unless your day is structured like a work day at work and you have specific meetings can anyone plan like that do you plan like that do you tell yourself right from nine o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock i'm going to do this and this is what i'm going to be doing from 11 till 12 i'm going to have a little break from 12 do you do <laughs> is that planning like am i doing this wrong have i completely lost the meaning of planning because it feels like i have i don't feel like because i do what i want on the day i do what i feel like and if I open this up and it says, May maybe that's what I need to try, guys. Maybe I need to tell myself, right, from this hour till this hour, you're doing this. And from this hour to this hour, you're doing that. So I've got two options. I can either completely rapid log or I can pre-plan the whole week telling myself what I'm going to do. Vote, guys. Vote what you want me to do for the next week. If you want me to rapid log, because there'll be less decoration, or if you want me to plan a week out telling myself what i'm going to do when and then we can actually talk about whether i did the things or not i think that's that i think i think i prefer that one i think that one would be pretty cool especially when it comes to studying i'm such a procrastinator but yeah i'm just giving it a go guys i'm just literally i don't think i need this at the bottom it's all housed in different places it is nice to see it um on a on a spread like this but like i said i don't open this um all day i open it at the end of the day and i just fill in what i've done um so yeah you vote do you want rapid login on this one or do you want me to plan plans and do the plans <laughs> right um sorry for the beginning of this video being a voiceover it's just the only time i got to film it everyone was home and um, if you didn't mind the voiceover let me know because i can do like maybe this planner is like a voiceover one uh, not the others though i do i like to talk as i go uh, but yeah hit me up let me know what you want what you enjoy vote for that and i'll see you in my next video guys bye